Alrighty then, um, this is just a random video um, that I just felt like making because I'm just doing something and possibly someone might be interested in it in some way. I don't know, anyway. Um, basically I've got a uh, little 74HC123 hooked up as a pulse stretcher and I'm going to design a circuit that's uh, supposed to modify the um, PWM frequency, well not frequency, but duty cycle of a uh, monitor inverter which has like a fixed duty cycle driving the backlights and there's no real way to adjust it unless you hack the firmware or something which is kind of beyond me so I thought I'd just intercept the um, inverter drive signal and use a pulse stretcher to make it longer. And um, here is my prototype stuff, I've uh, got an Arduino, a humbled Arduino board putting out a frequency about the same as the PWM signal I'm trying to modify um, and I've got a 74HC123 hooked up on breadboard along with a 4050 voltage level um, converter thing because I've got to run the um, the inverter runs on 3.3 volts so the signal I've got to st uh, stretch is 3.3 volt signal so I'm running that there and I'm using this to um, because the Arduino is 5 volts so I've got to you know do a level shift for that and with my oscilloscope here I've got the um, two signals, so you can see here the uh, lower trace is the input with the um, short duty cycle there, and the top trace is the output with the much longer thing. So yeah, and I can use a trim pot, um, which I'm going to mount on the final board. When I put this on a PCB, um, I'll have this little trim pot here, it's a 10 turn trim pot, and we can just adjust that, tweak it as I do it, because obviously what I'm using, the, um, the Arduino I think, I think the um, PWM frequency is about 160 hertz, and the Arduino the closest I could get in a pinch was about 150 or something, 155. So I'm going to have to adjust the um, adjust some things basically a little bit and tweak it and just make sure everything's set correctly for what I want um, when I set it up. But at the moment, I'm just um, got some fixed resistors here just just as a basic test, but it all seems to work. Um, yeah, so, oh uh, yeah, I got a, um, <laughs> got one of these dodgy little LC soft logic analyzer dev board things you can get on eBay for like 20 bucks, and they made me own a little input protection board for it with some ESD protection diodes and current limiting resistors and that, so yeah. Um, definitely want to make one of these, like an input protection board if you're going to buy one of those um, little cheap logic analyzer things, otherwise you blow the inputs on anything that's... Um, I don't think, I think it runs on 3 three volts or, or f yeah, I think it runs on 3.3 .3 volts and so if you want to, you know, um, look at 5 volt signals or something, you have to have the current limiting and clamping diodes and stuff like that. Um, I might make a separate thing about that actually, but anyway, um, but yeah, so I've got my little EPC701 here and that's running the... Um, running Pulse View under Linux, which is um, part of the SIGROC package, I think, and that can handle these, so you don't need to try and use some pirated version of the original software that's designed for the original board. But it's quite good, yeah, you can just buy a cheap board off eBay and use some free software, and it works pretty much all well, not entirely as well, but almost as well as a certain one you can buy, which is, yeah, a pretty good alternative, I thought it was good anyway. But um, another news, my main oscilloscope here, which is um, 100 megahertz, went and died. Um, oh, not completely, the, there's just no trace, I don't know what happened to it, maybe the high voltage is blown or something. Um, but anyway, I had to use the old one, which is fine, because it's such a <laughs> slow signal anyway, but whatever. So, um, yeah. Not really much to say, it's just a thing, oh yeah, and there's a pile of LEDs here. I was counting them from the last video when I bought all the LEDs. Um, there was 201 I counted, so that's nice. I bought, well, I ordered 200 and got 201, whether that or I miscounted. Um, but yeah, it was like, <laughs> I think it was $2 US actually, and turned out about $3 New Zealand, so pretty good. And I've tested them, those LEDs too, and they're actually really bright and I can run them at about <laughs> I think 5 milliamps each and yeah you get a lot of light out of them so I'm thinking when I do that torch um, I'll 
put in like a resistor to limit the um, yeah I'll limit it to about five or six milliamps per LED and that should give me tons of light and a load of um, well not a load but I mean it, yeah it won't put too much load on the battery hopefully and um, yeah because they're only LR44 cells and they're a bit sort of small so we want to use as least power as possible but that should help me do that because the previous ones were running at like 30 milliamps each or even higher so yeah if we can take that down to six that's pretty good it should be a lot longer LED life and a lot longer battery life and the brightness is still heaps for what I want it to use it for so it's all good anyway um, that was an interesting little video hopefully and yeah just some fun prototyping and tomorrow I should be able to actually make a PCB and do this thing all properly and have it all hooked up and test it. Oh there was one other thing um, yeah this microphone I'm gonna try build like a decent preamp for it and see what that does so um, I guess when I make the board for this hopefully tomorrow I'll do a PCB for a microphone preamp as well and We'll see how that goes. Um, I got a design out of Silicon Chip, I think it was November 2010. They published one that seemed pretty good, so I think I'll use that and see what happens. Um, it's just the one in the sound card doesn't seem to be that great. Or maybe, I don't know, maybe the microphone is just not that great. I don't know. Anyway, oh yeah, I've got the microphone up, upside down this time because I saw somewhere um, someone reckon you should put these upside down. But anyway. Um, maybe the audio quality will be improved by having the microphone upside down or perhaps it'll be horrible and much worse I don't know I guess I'll find out well see ya <laughs>